Okay, good morning YouTube dwellers. It's a bit overcast this morning. It's not looking too good either. So today I thought we'd do a few hacks on van life and traveling like we've done quite a bit of it. So I've come across these. We're going to have a go with these. These are called fresh wipes, antibacterial body wipes. Um, and they're totally uh, or organic, not organic, what's the word? Biodegradable, that's the word I'm looking for. They're called Fresh Wipes. Uh, it's a new name because these used to be called Sweat Wipes. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah, so they're totally anti-degradable, blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to give these a go today on myself an experiment. It's one per wipe, I believe. Sorry, one or two, it's up to you. Um, I'm thinking two, body and then your bits, you know, you don't want to do both at the same time, that's my opinion anyway, so let's crack on, I'll have a go with one of these, I'll let you know how I find it. Okay, you're looking at a 30 by 20 centimetre sheet and it's, it feels like a dishcloth, it's that thick, that's good. Okay, so just had a go, used one wipe, did a whole body wash. Fine, no problem whatsoever. I feel quite refreshed actually, and I smell quite nice because it's, um, what's the fragrant? Oh, there you go, fresh grapefruit scent. So, these are a must in your van, I must have, I must admit. Um, I'll put a link in the description below for these. That's number one sort of tip on your van life. Uh, they are, I can't remember what they were now, about four pounds something, a pack of 12. But the cloths are like, yeah, you, you can't rip it. You you can't. I couldn't. I couldn't rip it. It's, it's, so it's it's. Uh, yeah. Anyway, there you go. I'll put a link in the description down below. So that's number one. Okay. So apart from the uh, full body wipes, we have which I've stored underneath my seat here, which I've just got out. <sighs> this little bag of tricks. <sighs> And here, this I thought um, when I bought it was like going to be, you know, one of these gimmicks, but it's not actually. It's absolutely brilliant. Uh, I'll put a link in the description down below. Actually, I've had a look today at this type of model, and it comes with. It mine only came with one battery. I made a mistake and bought this thinking that it um, was a whole unit. It wasn't. You just paid. It was about thirteen to nineteen quid for the battery. I remember. Anyway, got it, and it's a portable shower, and it is amazing, absolutely, can't fault it whatsoever. It's powerful, uh, rechargeable batteries. Um, on Amazon, I found a link to something very, very similar. Well, the same sort of, I think it's the same make, is it? Let's have a look. Doesn't actually say what make it is, actually. Anyway, I'll look that up, but it comes with two batteries. Um, all the hoses, the pump, which is extremely powerful, and something else. Uh, hold on. This, which I had to buy separate. Okay, so let me just show you how it quickly how it works. So what you do, you've got your pump on a separate power. This is, this is your USB charger for your pumps. And all you do is you line them up. There's a square. Actually, you can't really go wrong. They push in. They turn. Listen. When that's in water, it, it, is, it actually makes the head do that movement. That's how powerful it is. But if you don't believe me, I don't really care. <laughs> I can't do much about it. Right, so that's them. So that's your alternative. But also, this is a 20 litre folding bucket. And it literally is. Just get this out.
Okay. Okay, I think I've done this one before, but it was on an old van. Uh, extra security. So, here's your seatbelt. What you want to do is get your seatbelt, pull it all the way out, tuck it through your arm, like so. Keep going, keep going. Keep stretching it. And then, tuck it in to your seatbelt holder. And what this does, gives you extra security, um, especially, well, it's done about inner cities and whatnot. We've never gone in inner cities. We've always gone country-based. We've done from uh, UK straight down to Dover, across Dover, through to France, all the way down to Spain, no issues whatsoever. So I've lifted up to the highest point on there. So if anybody does try to break in and they open the door, you've got limited access. Okay, you've got to squeeze your arm. Now you're gonna have some trouble getting your arm through that gap. You could put something behind it to make it even more taunt. Um, I'll, look, I'll, I'll have a look at that now. Or even better, which is new to me, I've just tried this myself because it's a double seater. We only had a single seater in the other vehicle because it's got a double seat. Use the seatbelt, which is attached for the secondary passenger, which goes by the driver's seat there. Okay, use that one. That is almost taut, I think. So, <laughs> you're, not, you're not getting in there. There's no more play from that. So it hooks around the door. You can see how I've done it. And uh, that's as far as it goes. No one's getting in there with that seat belt. They can't even cut it. Okay, let me just... Um, yeah, why do I, I can't even close it that. All right, let's show you. There we go. So it comes back round. And that's it. And there you go. We're going to try the driver's side now as well. There you go. Exactly the same for the driver's side. It's at full lock. It's actually, I've got some space to go. I can make it tauter, but I don't think it needs to. <coughs> That's as far as the door's opening. Okay. So just an extra uh, safety measure, precautionary. There we go. So that's the security in the front done. Not too sure about the back, but we'll have a look at that now. Okay. So coming from the front to the back doors, not for security so much on this because they've got good locks on them anyway. Uh, this is to keep the doors from slamming shut, especially on a, a really hot day. So I've ordered these off um, Amazon. These are just like curtain rail holders, but stainless steel, welded, really strong. And the idea is I'm going to make them there on each door, exactly the same place. So I'll mark them and screw them. And I'll get back to you in a bit. Okay, so I've marked each side. And what came with them was some small stainless steel ones. I'm going to use slightly bigger ones and just do a pilot hole and then pop them in. Okay, oops. Tough, isn't it? That's, that's a bit of a laugh drill. <sighs> right, we're nearly through. So, also, you've got to check what's behind there because you don't want to drill into any cables or something like that. Okay, change the drill for. A standard, ordinary, this one, the one I got was really posh, and this just went through it like butter. Right, so what we're going to do now is get one of the clips, what have I done with them? Just find them. I'm using some slightly bigger stainless steel screws. Just check, there's nothing in the way. Nope, it's perfect. Okay, and then the last one, and then we'll do the other side, which you don't need to see, we're just doing it. 
I'll just do it for convenience. Don't over tighten because you're with stainless steel, it tends to rip the head, the head off. And also, look at that, beautiful. Okay, look, there you go. So I think it's 54 inches or 54 and a half inches across the distance, and then these doors will be parallel, as in. <laughs> Like that, put a rail across. And then what you need is a piece of tubing. I think it's 54 inches, so I've gone for 1500 mil, which is 59 inches long, and it's 25.4 mil, so one inch diameter. So I'm going to order this. Uh, I'll put a link for that for the description down below as well. So on the door, when they're open, I've measured it, and I'm going for a 1.5 meter, which is enough. Uh, to go across between them two stainless steel. I'll put a link in the description down below for that. Uh, and the next thing I've got coming today, which I'll wait for and I'll finish this video off, is um, water filtration. Uh, I know you can carry water with you and whatnot, but we went on a few trips, like I said, a uh, big round trip down to from here to Spain and back, and we can stop at streams and just filter the water, which is fine. And I'll show you that when it comes. Okie doke, see you in a minute. Okay, this is the last item I'm going to show you today. Oh, it's right, you're getting unboxing as well. Okay, this is a jewel pack. Okay, Soyuz water filtration. You can read that, because you can. Okay, this is... I think this is quite essential on camping, van life, or what you want to call it, especially camping, but van life as well. So under my sink, I have two 20 litre containers. Uh, I usually don't, if I'm going somewhere, I'm not too sure I would fill one up with my like, fresh water from home or whatever. But normally you're carrying water means carrying more weight. Warm mate, war, more weight means more fuel consumption. Uh, on the last van we had, we had an 80 kilo tank. We'd never, ever, ever filled it. We very rarely used it, actually. We used to bring water with us, which made life a lot easier. So I thought I'd bring these twin pack with me. Um, one is for here in the van. The other one is for camping. Um, just open up what you get in the packet for two seconds. You get two syringes. I'm not too sure what they're for. I think they're for flushing backwards to clean the filters out. I shall look into that. You've got two rubber straws, two caps, and also two of these water bottles that you fill up, and then you fill these up, and then you can fill whatever you want in conjunction, or you can actually use this. Well, you fill this up, connect it to your straw, and then from this, into those bottles I've just shown you and just fill them up and you can do that straight from a stream they are 100% safe they are 99.99999 whatever it is on the filtration system um what does it say on them germ what they call it um I think what it says now helpful tips okay do not attach them uh, okay you have to read that yourself What's it say? It does say so you can do over a hundred gallons, a thousand, is it? Hundred thousand gallons with each one of to fit advantage. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, absolute microns, no more larger than 0.1 Not microns, so 99.9999% recurring of bacteria, Simulella, and everything else that it does. Blah, 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 blah. blah. You'll have to read that. Okay, so here we go. Number, one, number two. Number one, too many fillers. Can you see that? Too, too many fillers. Uh, number two, two cleaning plungers. Number three, two 16 ounce pouches. And number four, a drinking straw. Oh, there you go. Okay, and tells you where to do it. So you can do it from there. Squeeze, you can bottle it. You can use a straw straight from, bot from water. Uh, or you can do it from a hydration or inline pack on the back of your rucksack. There we go. Okay, so that's it. That's my um, hints, tips and tricks today for van life, camping, motorhoming, whatever you want to call it. All right, take care. If you enjoyed the video, 
uh, with the algorithms at the moment on YouTube, I've said it before in other videos, it's going up, a thumbs up or a like or whatever you want to do, mainly a thumbs up, you know, the like button, um, it helps the channel a lot, it gives me, it doesn't give me any more money, it just gives me good rhythm, so I keep um, higher up in the algorithm on YouTube, so that's what they say, there we go, so yeah, so there's Sawyer's, I'll put this a link in the description down below as well, mini, uh, mini Sawyer's mini water filtration system, all right, Take care, and we will definitely see you in the next video. All the best.